Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and the mini set, finally. Well, is it really finally? Seems like it came awfully quick. It's launching today. Good chance it's already out by the time you're watching this video. Rather than making a best or worst cards video, I thought we'd do something we like to do around here and make a tier list. There's not that many cards to go over, so we can rate every single card from S through F, S being like a God tier, meta-defining card, and F being unplayable trash you wouldn't even want to take an arena. And by the way, I have our giveaway winners, uh, two regular mini set winners at the top and the one golden mini set winner at the bottom. They've been messaged. I'm waiting to hear back from them. And if I don't hear back from them, I'll pick some new winners. Um, I'll give you guys a break from some giveaway plugs for a while, but I do want to thank you all. The sub count keeps on growing. We're almost at like 52,000 already. It's ridiculous. Thank you for all the support and I really appreciate it. If you keep on liking the videos, keep on subscribing to the channel, it helps me out more than you'll ever know. Let's start with the cards. So first with Ancient Kraken Main, this is a three mana, three, three, that I can deal five damage. Uh, if you've cast three spells while holding this, I think it's a decent card. Could see play in like a face burn hunter. P not probably quest hunter, but you never know. It just, the, the only issue with this card is a bad top deck and Hunter only has really furious health for draw. So I'm going to give it a B. We have the bubbler one minute, two, four minion. It's got to take, if it takes exactly one damage, it dies. It's a decent little sticky aggro minion, but so, like half the classes in the game have a one mana ping and it's very easy to deal one damage these days. I'm going to give it a C. I don't see it popping up in many decks. We have clash of the colossals, three mana warrior spell that adds a random colossal minion, both players hands. Yours costs two less. This is a school teacher your card there'll be spectacular highlights of someone just yoloing clash of colossals off school teacher getting something absurd but i don't think you're putting this in your deck unless you're just trying to meme so i'm gonna give that a c we have clownfish three minute three two murloc battle cry your next two murlocs cost two less it's not even this turn this card is absolutely ridiculous it is an s tier murloc shaman is not a thing in standard it's actually pretty good in wild but a card like this can make it just so good because you just get mana cheat early there's a lot of two drop murlocs that work really well with it i expect murloc shaman to at least have a shot now and if it doesn't succeed it'll have nothing to do with this card because it is just so freaking good a uh, coil fan constrictor four mana five four bow cry look at the top three cards in your opponent's hand you get to choose one they can't play just really good disruption whether it's an aggressive deck or it's something like shaman that likes to just repeat battle cries lock your opponent's hand out get some information on their hand i think this will see play in multiple decks it's premium statted there's not much of a downside to playing it plus it's got the beast tag which could be relevant for like a hunter um I, I gotta give it an a i think this will pop up in multiple decks we have a uh, commander all thruck or all fuck the uh warlock legendary i said was worse than dust fall aviana it's not quite that bad i see some utility to it this card is literally just a finisher if you can get your opponent really low on health or moderately low you play this while putting pressure on them you win the game most likely it's kind of like a lotheb effect it's kind of like a charge minion there's probably better options for it and it's a dead card in your hand until that situation i'm gonna give it a c but i do see utility to the card but i still see it as mostly a five mana millhouse mana storm oh we have command of neptulon this is a shaman spell that summons two five four elementals with rush for only five mana only overloads one it's a faceless corrupt or unnerfed that you don't have to set up it works with the quest and shaman insanely good card arena juggernaut i'm gonna give it an a i think it's a really good card getting that much rush on the board we know is good and you when you know something's good you gotta rate it highly and i just think it'll be solid we have disarming elemental the uh, priest minion four mana four four that dredges for your opponent uh you said it's cost of six pretty cool disruption uh you're likely gonna hit something to screw not only make them draw a bad card but unplayable card at that um i'm gonna give it a b i think it'll pop up in some priest list i just don't know what it's not gonna go into like the naga stuff could go into quest line priest i could see it there but it's a solid card i expect to see it see some play but not the most amazing thing in the world uh, we have drowned the four mana in tomb but rather than a tomb just taking the mini and putting it into your deck this goes to the bottom of your deck where you can dredge it out it's just cheap removal it's a better polymorph in most situations um yeah i'm actually gonna give this an a i can see this going in multiple priest archetypes in particular quest breeze slower priest decks it's obnoxious it's good it's a priest card we have fossil fanatic demon hunter card two mana two two after your hero attacks draw a fell spell three mana draw card two two 
get one fell spell not amazing but you can set it up with the weapon you can attack multiple times and get multiple fell spells really good with jace i'm actually gonna give this an a i think this can see a lot of play in demon hunter just to rip through your deck and it just works so well in felt with the fell demon hunter stuff i could see it seeing realistic play we have front lines the nine mana paladin spell i call the most absurd spell ever i still think it's absurd it's ridiculous but it's kind of an F. Like, it uh, summons a minion for both players' decks. Repeat, on, uh, repeat until the other side of the battlefield is full. If your opponent has a relatively full battlefield, you're getting like one or two minions for nine mana. And their minions might be good. You might, it might just horribly backfire. It's nine mana. There's not a great way of cheating this out in standard. And even wild, it's like prismatic lens. I think the card's terrible, but it's hilarious. And I appreciate the flavor. But I cannot imagine a world where this is remotely playable. We have Herald of Chaos, Demon Hunter card. Three mana, three, four, life seal, battle cry. If you cast a fell spell while holding this, gain rush. I think it goes alongside the other fell card really good even without rush it's not bad with rush on top of it which is gonna have most of the time fell spells are cheap or even zero it's really good and it activates other synergies as well just a really good card if herald of light three minute three four priest card cast a spell a holy spell while holding this restore six health to all friendly characters good effect but i have no idea where this goes into right now there's just not a lot of stuff you really want to heal up outside of maybe a wig priest so i'll give it a b standalone it's a good card i just don't know where it's going to slot into at the moment speaking of that we have herald of nature three minute three three druid card if you cast a nature spell while holding this give your other minions plus one plus two i'm gonna put the same region as uh, that other card it's a really good card uh great on tokens i just again that druid deck hasn't really been there this expansion there is a aggro beast druid but it just i don't know if it's enough to put over the top so i'm not willing to put it higher than a b but i do think it is a very good card that could move up as the support comes along and the other herald card herald of shadows three mana four two battle cry if you cast a shadow spell while holding this seal two health from a minion so this card is unplayable without that upside and with that upside it, it's still not very good and then you gotta have a shadow spell it's a bad top deck i think it's an f tier card i think it's awful i don't see any warlock deck playing this igneous lava gorger four mana three five taunt battle cry dredge gate armor equals to, to its cost Good card on paper, but really in anti synergistic with the best card in Warrior right now and from the depths. Um, you already have good four mana, four or five taunts that kill stuff with armor. I'm gonna give it a C. I don't see it really slotting into any Warrior deck at the moment, but you know, Sension with a bit of armor gain and Dredge, not too bad. We have Immolate, four mana Warlock spell that I am praying. I am just, I'm just so hopeful this card sucks because it is the worst style of design. Light every card in your opponent's hand on fire in three turns, any are still in the hand are destroyed like the ultimate anti-combo anti-control card but absolutely terrible against everything else super polarizing disgusting card i'm gonna give it a c because it does have that tech variant against the slow decks but it's suicide to play it against any tempo deck any fast deck you're just dead it's four mana do nothing for three turns but yeah the polarization this card's gonna create is not healthy for the game whatsoever ink veil ambusher banned from arena two mana one two stealth naga has plus three attack while uh, um, and immune while attacking i don't think rogue cares about this really it's a decent little tempo play early but they have way way better stuff to do than this they play yet with rush for zero mana on turn two not one three one twos that get some immunity we have jackpot two mana rogue spell add two random spells from other classes that cost five or more to your hand i'm actually gonna give this an f you're only playing this if you're memeing you're burgling like really hard because you just don't want expensive spells stuck in your hand and most expensive spells kind of suck you're getting brawls you're getting shield shatters you're getting a lot of bad stuff um i think it's unplayable but if you're memeing you'll have some fun with it a k ninotron two mana two three uh mech if it's a one you dredge uh, if it's a one cost of minion summon it i think this is an s tier card i really do as long as you have enough one drops to support this getting like 2k nanotrons out early is just insane it's like a little mini drekthar it's incredibly good for those face hunter decks and i think it will see a lot of play we have lady nasjar when in your hand this transforms after you cast a fire frost or arcane spell you can reduce spells in your hand you can gain armor you can deal some aoe it's solid but i don't see it slotting into naga mage it's just like middle of the road maybe it's a consideration but i just don't see it happening and maybe more of a control mage it would work out a little bit better but that just doesn't exist in the meta right now but maybe, maybe this will help make it happen but at, as it stands i gotta give it a b we have light ray nine mana five five elemental taunt for paladin costs one less for each paladin card you play this game if you played nine paladin cards in the game it's zero in wild you have Librams to get this going quickly in standard just play a bunch of paladin cards it comes down cheap at some point I think it's solid. I think it'll see play. I'm going to give it an A. I think it's just like an inclusion in any of like the, the holy 
paladins that are going to get this out eventually, especially with Holy Mackie roll uh, that does not take very long. We have Moonbeam for Druid, one mana, deal one damage to an enemy twice, insane with spell damage, and just a decent removal tool. It can get through a death rattle, depending, and it's just a solid, solid removal. I'm going to give it an A. You're going to see a lot of this in Druid decks, in my opinion. We have Myrmidon, three mana, three, four, Naga for Paladin after you spell, cast a spell in this minion draw card. I feel like this is better in Wild where you have Librams and you can really pop off in Standard. There's just not a lot of great self-targeting buffs, but there's probably enough to maybe warrant it. I'll give it a very low B, but you could probably argue this one's a C. We have Neptulon, the neutral Colossal, plus two, Rush Wind Fury. Whenever Neptulon attacks, if you control any heads, hands, they attack instead, and they're four twos that are immune. So you get like 16 immune damage, and then you have this with Wind Fury up. Just an incredible threat. It could be a really good board sweep. I think this will see play in some slower control decks in those variants. It's not Raid Boss and Nixia good, but I still think it's very good and a lot more scary if it sticks around. Uh, we have Ozumot, the first ever Colossal that fills the entire board. Uh, a mana six five beast death roll for each Ozumot's tentacles. Destroy random enemy minion. The tentacles are like one threes. It's just an insane amount of stats, potential board clear. I see Hunter using this in particular, um, just cheating this out and playing this for five mana. How do you answer that for most decks? It's just gonna win games. Um, so I'm gonna give it an A. I think it'll see play in those Hunter decks and other decks can use that death rattle. Uh, just, it's an insane amount of stats on turn eight. Or earlier, just look out for this one. It's not as bad as I think some people are making it out to be. We have Polymorph Jellyfish, three mana spell that tra transforms a minion into a four one jellyfish with spell damage plus two. I don't think you're running this to get spell damage plus two because you can get it for four already. It's close, but I think it's more of like a transform effect, a tech card. I'm gonna give it a C. I don't see it seeing much meta play. We have Shatter Shambler, one mana, one three rogue elemental battle cry. Your next death rattle mini costs one less, but immediately dies when played. I'm giving this an S. I think death rattle rogue, in particular the mine rogue, might be particularly terrifying with this card. It's a one three with a really insane upside of proccing a death rattle. Look out for this card. I think it's gonna be nuts. We have Shell Shot, uh, Hunter Spell, deal three damage to enemy enemy minion repeats with one less damage it's been confirmed it goes three two and one it basically repeats until it's down to zero damage so you can scale with spell damage still hunter doesn't really care about this even with an urchin spines that makes an eye right away i still think it's a c the only reason i'll bump it to a low b is it probably goes into quest hunter because they need damage spells and that's literally it snap dragon neutral mini give all battle cry means your deck plus one plus one this will see play it's keleseth for three mana that you can run two of and there's a lot of good battle cry decks in particular like rogue or paladin uh could use this and just a lot of stats and it can be very good couple it with brand shadow step uh it could be really really scary uh spear of the tides two mana two two if you have any unspent mana the end of your turn game plus one plus two so you play this with three mana it's a three mana three four not great i don't see this going to any druid deck at the moment but it can get out of control if it's left for like four or five turns like it's just not gonna happen we have submerged space rock two mana two two elemental mage minion uh, death rattle add two arcane mage spells to your hand at the end of your turn discard them too hard to control too hard to manipulate pretty cool design gotta give it a c pages are really struggling for value and this is a really clunky way of trying to get it we have title revenant eight mana five eight uh warrior minion battle cry deal five, five damage gain eight armor it's a pack filler. It's an okay card. I don't think it's ever going to see play on ladder, but you never know. Maybe an armor deck really wants it, so I'll give it a low C. We have Tide Loss Burrower, 4 mana, 4 4, Murloc, Battlecry, Dredge. If it's a Murloc, summon a 2 2 copy of it. Hit War Leader, insane. Fireman's or Flurgle, insane. Uh, any Murloc with upside, it's great. And then you're getting a 4 mana 6 6 regardless. I'm going to give this an S. It's just a ridiculously good Murloc. And lastly, we have Topple the Idol, 5 mana Demon Hunter spell. You dredge, reveal it, and deal damage equal to the cost. its cost to all minions. You're playing this in maybe a big, big demon hunter, and it's still terrible. I'm gonna give this an F. Like, yeah, you're wiping the board if you hit a big spell only. And other than that, it's really, really bad, and I don't think it's worth running. So there you go. That's my tier list. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. You can always fill this out with the template. It's in the description below, and let me know what you agree and disagree with. And hopefully, you guys have some fun with the mini set today. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day, and stay salty, my friends.